it's a good day thank you for joining me today my name is precious and this is carly's design academy where i teach how to make shoes and bags both male and female in today's class i'll be teaching on how to pass a thread on a post bed machine so many people buy machine and at the point they are confused on how to pass the thread you know they are stuck in some ways you know they will they will, they will have to call an engineer or someone um, um maybe not close to them to come and help them to fix it but it's very easy is what you can do it's not difficult so let's get right now um please don't mind me i'll be turning these cameras you know once a while so first of all this is the post bed machine um, you can see this is a post bed machine um, you can use it to stitch bags it specializes in um, stitching of handles of the bag so um, this is where you can find the ruler so you can just this thing when you take it up and there's a hole inside the ruler that you can just you know um, um, when you put something like a little screwdriver or a nail or something you can always pull out the ruler you know so when you pull it in put it inside then there's a, 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 a there's um, a space here that the thread must pass into then you before you put this thing down that holds the um the, the, the thread the ruler rather so this is the roller foot roller foot it's called the roller foot and this is the needle um it's always best to use um needle not bigger than let's say 23 25 because of the sh the um what they call it the the plates so that it won't um open this hole that is here for the plate once this place gets opened you have to change the plates of the machine so now we are going to go into this is um a brown thread size three that we are going to use you know so first of all um you take the thread this is point a you can put the 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 thread on this point this thing as like a cone that will help you to hold the the thread the cone of the thread so you now take the thread like this take the thread like this um hope you're seeing take the thread like this then the thread must pass from this point this is point a so you take the thread to pass inside so please don't mind me i'm just i'm carrying the hope you're seeing what i'm doing so it must pass here from that place that cone place this is point a it must pass here then you bring it down to this point to this point you take it there, there are always two holes here two holes here so first of all put it on the top hole then you take it inside the second hole take it inside the second hole then you bring it out it's like this then this one this place has this is point down this place is point a and you see point a point b then c so this is c so it has to pass from inside under not from the top has to pass from under like this take it up then take it down is there are always three holes here so either of the two you must put from the under to one of the holes you bring it out and put it down to one of the holes again not the same hole but another hole so from this our point c from this our point c you take it down to get to the the tension hub so when you now take it around the tension there is something that looks like a spring here it must go from under under it i don't know if you're seeing it so this is it okay must go under it it goes under it so these are point d right let me turn the camera 
so this is our point v so you take it like this there's a hook here there's a hook here that will pass under the hook after passing it through this tension round like this it will pass under this spring that is here pass under this iron you now draw it so when you draw it it will go inside this tension when you draw it to go inside this tension then when you take it up up then you now pass it into this this um um what they call it this iron that is here is always is sometimes um but it's also sometimes two holes but mine is sometimes you might see it's one or two or three but mine is two so you pass it on one of them like this so these are points d this e please note it so that you remember this is e then you now pass it another smaller hook that is here then you pass it here this is our e this is f then you pass it to down again to this place this place this is um, g our g this place is what where you can add your machine oil because there's something that looks like um, a foam that is here that will always you know hold oil for the thread so when you pass it you now when you pass it you now press this roller foot you press the roller foot down like this you take it out down and out down and out so this is our h this is our g this is our h so when you now take it down then you see a hole that is just um under the needle holder then you must pass the thread inside the hole you must pass the thread inside the hole out like this then when you pass it then you now pass it into the hole of the needle you pass it into the hole of the needle just like this hmm? pass it to the then you now roll your machine from the handle you roll it down you roll it down down so that you can pick up the thread the other thread from the villa so when it picks up the other thread from the villa you now bring two of them out like this then you now close it then you are good to go you are good to stitch then you take this roller foot back to its position its original position so you are ready and good to go to stitch hmm? hello thanks for watching if you like the video please like and share our videos please don't forget to subscribe turn on this notification bell so that whenever we um, send a video you will always be there to to see it gives us give us a thumbs up thank you for watching and we look i look forward to seeing you in the next video please be safe